In this video, we are going to learn about endometrial cancer, which is quite rising among Tanzanian women. Though not among the top three cancers nationally, it still accounts for nearly 1% of all new cancer cases, with the over 370 diagnoses in 2022 alone. It affects the leaning of the uterus, and early symptoms like abdominal bleeding are frequently ignored and misattributed. Limited screening, late diagnosis, and low awareness make survival harder than it should be. This documentary shines a light on the realities of endometrial cancer in Tanzania. Talking about its warning signs, its impact, and the urgent need for the education and early detection. Now let's see how this problem is well understood among Tanzanian women as explained by one of the students from the University of Dar es Salaam. Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Vedastos Mutogwakudia, a medical student at the University of Dar es Salaam, Mbeya College of Health and Allied Science. And today I am going to present on endometrial cancer. refers to cancer cells that form and grow in the lining of the of the uterine cavity. It can never be type 1 or type 2, but mostly affects women at the menopause. But yet today, even younger women get affected. Pelvic pain, unusual bleeding, especially at the menstruation, Pain during sexual intercourse and watery or bloody discharge accompanied with a full smell. Diagnosis is done through pelvic exam, intravaginal ultrasounds, biopsies, CT scans, and MRI machines. Endometrial cancer can spread to other organs like the liver, the bladder, and the lungs, and results to infertility, chronic pain, anemia, and emotional suffering. The rules, immunography, radiotherapy, and common balancing. Obesity, age, where those after menstruation are at the higher risk, and early menstruation, as well as late menopause. The problem in Africa is big because in Africa there is little awareness about endometrial cancer, as well as there is underreporting and the, there is high mortality risk. As most of the women got to be diagnosed late. This is not just a disease, it's a call to action. So women, sisters and daughters, any treatment saves life, go and talk to your doctor and thank you.